Hey, 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 Collective Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundations. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. For my new subscribers or those of you that are just curious, if you, you like the reading or you resonate with me, like, share, and subscribe. Happy Friday night. I hope you all are enjoying the beginning of your weekend. I know I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to jump right in. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. If you are interested in a personal reading or you'd like a reading over the phone, you can hit me up on the live tarot line, Your Harmonic Wave, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information and more is located in the description box, okay? So I'm going to start because the cards are already coming out of the deck, so... Let's see what's up, Collective. Let's see what's up with you. Hmm. Some of you are having ascension symptoms. Ooh. Now those. Ah, <sighs> You just got to go with it, okay? The pressure in the middle of your head. Uh, the back pain. Back pain. Someone's getting back pain. Someone feels pressure at the... Uh, I'm hearing your, your frontal cortex. Mm-hmm. Uh, your light body is coming on as well. Some of you, you're going to find that you don't want to, um, I'm hearing plant-based, so you may not want to eat meat anymore, or you want to move to a lighter lifestyle choices, healthier lifestyle choices, mm -hmm. organic, greens. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right off the bat, uh, some of you have a high vibrational life partner. That's coming in the near future. Oh, look at that. This is why you are ascending. Like attracts like. Your vibration is pulling someone towards you. Mm -hmm. So Spirit said, prepare yourself. This is what these ascension symptoms are. A lot of you are going to find that people, things are just falling off. You're not interested in the things you used to be interested in anymore. For someone in this collective, you may have liked to club. Now it's just like kind of boring. You're ready for more expansive endeavors and adventures. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. You've been through so much trauma and you're still standing strong. Someone is intimidated and inspired by you at the same time. Mm -hmm. Someone is watching your growth. I feel like a lot of people are watching your growth. Someone in here, you're on a glow up, okay? It's time to live in the now. That is exactly what you're doing. You're focusing on who you are now. I'm hearing who you're meant to be. Can't fool you. Your third eye is wide open. So someone that tried to get over on you, someone that tried to pull the wool over your eye, <laughs> their ass realized that you don't need your physical eyes to see whoever I'm speaking to. You're highly, highly intuitive. This is like high priestess energy. You already know what's up. A lot of you just don't say anything because you mind, you like to mind your business, okay? Drink water and mind your business. That's what you like to do. But someone knows that they can't fool you, okay? You're not the one. Mm -hmm. they're, missing, they're messing with the, the wrong right one. Yeah? Spirit is giving you back everything I stole from you and there is nothing I can do about it. Uber salty. Oh, jeebus collective mm -hmm. so a lot of you you're in this cycle as you ascend of a lot more abundance spiritually physically emotionally that is coming into your life a lot of you this is coming through the form of healing okay you cannot buy peace baby but it gives you and brings you so much so a lot of you spirit is giving back your time your energy and i mean like time as in being able to put quality into things and, and focusing on things that you actually want for yourself now. No influences, no opinions, and the only one that does matter is yours. A lot of you, I feel like this is vindication, redemption energy. This is, hmm, <laughs> spirit is setting a table before you in the presence of thine enemies, yeah? And all they can do is watch you win because all you do is win. This is your season, you are ascending, you are moving up, you've been elevated, and you've been upgraded. Mm -hmm. This is why you have a high vibrational life partner. Whoever I'm speaking to, the next person that comes into your life, this is your person. And I don't even like to put labels on shit anymore, to be honest with you, because it just confuse, it gets people confused. 
as an empath, it's very much about how does it feel? How does this person make you feel? They say, you, you know, remember what people say to you. It's, it's how they made you feel. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, someone that matches your vibration emotionally, mentally, spiritually. That's who's coming into your life. That's who you're going to get a double casket with. Okay, this is your forever person or at least until the end of the or the rest of this lifetime that is coming in. This is your new earth. What do they, I hear this expression, kingdom husband or kingdom wife. That's who's coming in. Good for you. You worked hard to get here. Oh boy. So someone wants to let you know that the third party that they had on you uh, was something to do when there was nothing to do. I take it that you left someone, turned your back on someone. Told someone, boy, bye, okay, hurt people, hurt people. This person you are dealing with or this energy that you're dealing with has suffered some deep trauma and some deep hurt. And this is why they lash out. Someone could have PTSD. Somebody could have uh, they trauma bond. Mm -hmm. So this is why things always seem like such a push and pull or resisting. I'm hearing, is it Bob Marley putting up a resistance mm -hmm. with somebody? Because this is somebody who was resisting... Uh, healing you know when someone's so used to feeling pain or they associate love with pain they go around if it's, it's like if there's no drama then you don't love them mm -hmm. and some of you were dealing with an energy that was very much like this and it's because they've been hurt and they have not healed they have not acknowledged and they just project everywhere they go they just project their problems suddenly become your problems. Yeah. You're on the right path. Keep going, Spirit said. So it doesn't even matter, okay? Continue to drink water and mind your business. Mm-hmm. Keep it moving. Keep going forward. Stand up for yourself and your truth. Whoever I am speaking to, that is what you did. These are confirmations here. Someone in this collective, I feel like you may... <laughs> It's like you you get upset, but you don't say anything. So inside, you could be like cussing someone off and roasting the shit out of them. But out in the on the surface, you're like smiling, like uh huh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it just gets you angrier and angrier, and I feel like you're gonna like you're gonna blow up one day, like a pressure cooker. So spirits like speak your truth. You don't have to go off on somebody. You know, don't confuse speaking your truth with being ignorant. But <laughs> let it out sometimes, okay? Because some of you, you'll you be letting people overstep their boundaries, right? Because what is it? You don't want to rock the boat or do you, is it you want to see how far they're willing to go? Because some of you, they went far. Somebody went far. Mm-hmm. It's the, it was the lack of loyalty, too. It's that somebody was just bored, so they decided <laughs> instead of joining a gym or picking up a new hobby, they decided to go sleep with somebody. <laughs> so, like, you know, Cancer? <laughs> Who's Cancer? Hmm. There's a Cancer here. Because that just came out overstepping and then they just thought that they could just come back collective like no spirit said stand up for yourself stand your ground because when your intentions are pure you don't lose people they lose you and you think someone doesn't know that they do mm -hmm. they're butthurt yes they are going around hurting people the way they hurt you this person is surrounded by low vibrational energies they need to clear things away but this is what you did to somebody Mm, look at that. They tried to hurt you and only ended up hurting themselves. Of course, that's usually how it goes. Hmm. I feel like someone's sorry, collective, because they got caught for something or their plan didn't go according to plan. Your ancestors are helping you with this, so just be cool. Yeah. When you're divinely guided and divinely protected... Uh, you know that this is divine intervention and if you don't know now you know so there's really nothing to worry about or stress about 
A lot of you, you have really good things coming towards you because you're choosing. You're consciously choosing to ascend. This is just striving to be the better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Striving to live your best life. You're not perfect. But you're a lot better than you used to be. Mm -hmm. Someone is addicted to your body, addicted to your energy, and addicted to you. Someone has an energy vampire stalking them. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why their ass showed up in the reading, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. This person is a spiritual narcissist. Collective, you could be highly spiritual, which you probably are if you're listening to this reading. <laughs> or you're in tarot land at all, okay? What's your, what is your ass doing here if you're not spiritual? Ooh. But whoever you are dealing with, they didn't... They didn't like your spirituality or they had some kind of issue with it. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? This person, you're, you're, you're highly intuitive. Whoever I'm speaking to, either you, you could be a reader or you're very perceptive. You can just pick up on what's going on with people. Or hmm. It's like you do a, it's not even, you know how some people look someone up and down and do a body scan? You don't do that. Whoever I'm resonating with, you do an energetic scan. So you check people's energy at the door. And this person can't fool you. So that's why, oh man, they didn't like that. It bothered them that they couldn't manipulate you. They couldn't gaslight you. You saw right through them. This is someone who also, they could have some kind of religion or their belief system. It's either their way or the highway. What they know, how they know to do it is the best way. Or you're, or you're doing it wrong, or you're going to go to hell, you're a sinner, some shit. And it's like there's other ways to enlightenment. <laughs> Man, someone had no chill. You have been chosen, okay, to break generational trauma and curses in your bloodline. A lot of you, that's why... You may find that it's either one or two things. Either people really take to you or they don't, okay? A lot of you, your light bothers some people's darkness, okay? It irritates their demons. So you may find that some people want to throw shade or look at you sideways. It's the energy. It's not an alignment. And then some of you have people that just want to sit down beside you and tell you their whole life story. Why do you think that is? Because energetically, your aura is so healing. Right? You've been, you've been chosen. You've been selected. A lot of you, you go through spirits that explain. So you may have been the black sheep of the family or the odd one out. <laughs> Someone, were you called an Oreo? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Laugh with me, okay? Because we're old now, right? But it's you just felt like you didn't fit in or you didn't belong here. There's a reason for that. It's like you're in the world, but you're not of the world. You're not even from here. You could be a star seed. 100% you're a star seed. Why do you think you have all these gifts and you can do all these things and it's it just comes natural to you and You know, you've been chosen to break trauma and patterns and, and ways of being and doing that were imprinted from generations. And it's a big task. This is not a simple mission and simple assignment that you're on, but you're still on it. And that's why I say you're still striving to be the best version of yourself, Collective. It takes balls, like this planet, the things that you've been through, you've been through so much. You have people intimidated of you. You want to know why? Because they would not have been able to do that. And you're still here. Standing strong, standing tall, standing, inner standing. Mm -hmm. This is why you have people addicted to you, your energy. It's not like everyone else's, but it allows everyone to feel or allows people to feel connected. Mm -hmm. Someone's addicted to you, and I get it. I've started to feel like I want to be addicted to you. This energy is, it's intoxicating, but it's like a natural high mm -hmm, of just feeling good. That's how your energy feels to people. 
Now you may feel like you've gone through the worst, but it's it was to prepare you. You have an important task, like I said, an assignment. And it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for the weak. It's not for the weak stomach, <laughs> okay? You, you are supposed to get your heart broken a few times and deal with rejection and learn about trauma and trauma bonding and, right? How do you learn about trauma bonds? By trauma bonding. So that you can do something different. Teach the next generation. These are not healthy relationship styles. Know your worth. Love yourself first. You can't do nothing for anyone until you do some things for yourself. Put yourself in a position to help. You are energy. You are a part of the creator. You are connected. We're all connected. You're here to teach those things just by the way you live. Like I said, this is a big task and you're on it. So give yourself some credit. And you wonder why people are addicted to you? Come on now. <laughs> Black magic brings bad karma. Psychic attacks, spiritual warfare, bad juju has all been sent back to sender in spades. Okay, like I said, you chosen baby. Mm hmm All right. No weapon formed against you will prosper. It just won't go through. Okay, so you just keep doing what you're doing. You don't have anything to worry about. You're supported, you're protected, highly, highly protected, highly favored, highly blessed. Because you have an important mission and you're on your job. Someone wants you to know that they fucked with someone who is not even half of you. Of course not. You are the chosen one. Mm -hmm. This is what this person is realizing now. You're one of one. Someone is feeling really stupid. <laughs> they could have ran off feeling like they, the grass was greener on the other side or they were on the come up or they met someone better than you. And realize that this person wasn't even half of you, collective. Hmm. Let that show you. Know your worth. Your legacy will be remembered because you're building something. Mm -hmm. You're creating something. You're a star. You're a star seed. A lot of you, your legacy is how you carry yourself. How you made people feel. Beautiful. Something's going to happen in four weeks, collective spirit. What, what's this four weeks about? What is this four weeks about? Hmm. Oh, someone in here told you there's a white witch, high priestess. So you already know what it is. So you tell me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Someone misses you so much it physically hurts. They could be having headaches, stomach aches, heart pain. Spirit wants you to remember that you're the prize. You do know that, though. <laughs> With my high priestess, my witch energy, you know you're the prize. It's I, I don't feel like you're letting this person sweat it out. You're, I feel like you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know this person's a spiritual hater. And remember earlier, that's what I was saying. That's what I felt. Someone didn't like your spirituality or even your, your inner evolution. You're so different now. I feel like maybe at one point in time you were vibrating because uh, like attracts like, right? So you were vibrating at this person's frequency, but I feel like you're, it was accelerated growth with you because there's a stark difference in the energies here. Your energy is so much lighter. It's becoming finer even. Hmm. It's like stepping out of smoke or fog into clear clean air that's what it that's what it feels like this person really doesn't like that you are so clear you are so grounded you're so present mm -hmm. they can't fool you okay they can't have you in the past up in your head at least not like how they did before 
you're very aware of who this person is and what kind of energy they bring to the table now. That's also why they cannot fool you. And this is why this person hates on your spirituality, but it doesn't even matter because they're in spiritual jail. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, when you land your ass in spiritual jail, it's because you broke spiritual laws. Now, there was something here about black magic. So somebody was doing black magic. Now, this could be words, okay? But if you land your ass in spiritual jail, someone was dead ass trying to do some kind of serious manipulation here with somebody's energy. And because of the universal law of free will, that's a dumb idea. Mm -hmm. So someone was trying to play God. And God said, no, <laughs> you don't do that. So they're in spiritual jail now. Hmm. It was returned to sender for someone. This could be even physical jail. Hmm. But either way, the trash took itself out. You see how spirit works, though? This is a divine intervention collective. A lot of you, this is stark raving <laughs> facts here, 100% facts of how protected you are and what protection from the universe looks like. You didn't even really have to do anything. All you had to do was step out of the way and let spirit take the trash out, right? Do the rest. I mean, you know you're chosen and you're divinely protected when people actually just leave your life, <laughs> right? By some fluke or freak event or something that just... For some of you, it was a series of unfortunate events that made you decide that it was time to part ways with somebody. Mm -hmm. Someone was trying to do something to affect your legacy. Now, they didn't want you to be remembered or they didn't want you to be remembered in a, a good light or a, being held in high esteem because you are. And spirit just helped this person to take yourself out of your damn life. <laughs> right? This spiritual hater. Yeah. Wow. So when this person sleeps with someone, they think of you and they miss you. This person tried to replace you with someone else or they try to find you in other people. But spirit wants you to know that this redirection will create a more favorable or beneficial outcome for you. So this, like I said, divine intervention confirmation right there. This was supposed to happen. This U-turn, this swerve them, because somebody was fully hating on you. It's like hating on the essence of who you are, you know? This is weird. It's, I don't know, like is fetish energy or what? Because I'm feeling like somebody, is it they like the idea of you, but they don't, they didn't like actually being with you. And what I mean by that is what it would take to be with you. This is someone that was not going to, they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to level up. They didn't want to step up. They didn't want to, they didn't want to elevate to be with you, to maintain anything with you. And this is someone who is, it's like they're easily bored because they're not focused. And what, what distracts them is, they just do things out of boredom. That's what I was saying earlier. How you just, you're so bored you slept with someone? Like what? <laughs> That's what you do when you're bored? What do you do when you're focused? So spirits like this, this needed to go in a different direction for you because you have better things coming towards you. It's time for you to benefit because dealing with this energy no. Now somebody is still lusting after you. They're sleeping with other people and still thinking about you. It's like, yo, go and heal. What do you, you have no business being in a relationship with anybody. You are a clear, open and receptive channel for high vibrational messages. We, you already know that collective. You already know that high priestess energy here. This is that witch or high priestess. Okay. Masculines. It doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. But whoever I'm speaking to, you dead ass a psychic. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You are a clear and open channel. Mm -hmm. Could be speaking to a reader. And it's because you keep your vibration high. 
and you you do your best to maintain and hold your frequency so that's just you know you know that you're not going to be happy every day that's not realistic but in you learning how to create your reality you practice living that way more often this is your lifestyle changes being more optimistic being more forward thinking being more trusting and having faith this is ascension symptoms you know being more conscious of these things being aware of yourself and look these are the benefits that are coming from this redirection that spirit had to help you with collective had to where you're going they can't come and that's what i was feeling remember earlier i felt this very distinct difference in energies it's like someone's cold and someone's hot mm-hmm or someone's smooth and someone's rough and it's just like it's not a match it's not a match anymore and uh, whoever i'm speaking to you're already 5d consciousness you're already new earth uh, like i can say new earth 5d consciousness and you know what i'm talking about this person they could you could have said things like this to this person and they're looking at you like you're crazy or like oh yeah woo -woo, you know but or maybe nod their head and smile like they get what you're saying but they really don't there was also a clash in um is it belief systems like someone was religious and someone was spiritual and it's it you can be different and still get along right someone was just like no uh, with the spiritual hater this is my religion you need to believe what i believe or whatever you're doing that's of the devil that's what i heard that's of the devil so you could have been a tarot reader who was with someone who was christian and i didn't they know that before they got with you because it's like someone switched on you but yet and still they're addicted to you this was a toxic romance <laughs> that's what this was mm hmm it's like someone loved you, but they didn't like you. Ah, and they were resisting. That's why spirits like they can't come with you. They've been resisting this. Their vibration is not high enough. They're not conscious enough yet. Mm -hmm. They still think that there's separation. They cry when they're not when they're by themselves and they think about you. Yes. Someone's very lonely without you. And they know that their low vibe and toxic ways mess things up. But like I said, I can't make this up. Spirit said the vibration is not a match. 100% here. You've ascended. You're not who you used to be. Someone in this collective, you could have smoked and drank and partied and bullshit with this person in the beginning, but... As you began to evolve, you wanted to do some different things. You want to expand your horizons, you know? You want to see, uh, go to, I'm hearing territories. Like, did you want to travel or do you want to travel? Someone, your energy, it's very expansive. It's like a plant that's outgrowing its pot. Mm -hmm. You're ready for growth. You're, you're ready to hmm, live in a bigger world. Yeah, that's growth. Mind, body, and soul. Hmm. And someone with this low vibe, Stockholm Syndrome, you've come very far, collective. You really have. Someone you're either dealing with this or you've dealt with it. Whoever I'm speaking to, this is one of those. That's why I said you, you've done so much healing and you've worked on yourself a lot to get to where you are. Someone you, the battle of Stockholm Syndrome, is, that's not a simple thing, you know, that's a trauma bond. This is having romantic feelings for someone who abuses you, um, allowing someone to have power over you. Some of you could have felt weak, like if you didn't have this person around, you're just really sad, you weren't eating, or you're always in your head. And this person blatantly would t treat you bad, but you still go back. You may separate from them for a little while, but then they come around and they love bomb you with the spiritual narcissist. Mm -hmm. It's a narcissist, same way. They may use your spirituality, love bomb you all of a sudden. They're super spiritual when they want to get you back. And you think maybe this time they've changed. Maybe they're evolving. 
So you let them back in and they do the same shit. That's why I said to get where you are, be proud of yourself. You've come a long way. Long way, you don't trauma bond anymore. You remove all toxicity and negativity from your life, as a matter of fact. You repel that shit. Some of you, it was opposites attract. Now you're like, no, I want to be with someone like me. Because <laughs> I think I'm a great fucking person. Good job, collective. Good job. You're creating your reality. Okay? And for some of you, spirits like, you create your reality. So what are you waiting for? Mm-hmm. Design it the way you want. You are divine. You're limitless. You can do whatever you want. You're sovereign. You have been blessed with many spiritual gifts. Use them to your advantage, okay? And someone misses sleeping beside you. <laughs> they just have to crawl up in the reading, of course. Let me get some, let me get a different deck. Let me get a different deck here because this energy, it's just this kind of whiny, I'm upset, feeling rejected. I fucked up, but I really miss you. It's that, that kind of energy. It's clingy. It's clingy. The lovers in reverse. Yes, this person, they really miss sleeping beside you. They really miss sleeping with you. But for some of you, that's just what it was. This could have been a situation shit, but there wasn't anything really solid that you can build with this person. Now, yeah, okay, you're going to hear the same old, same old, okay? This is a karmic relationship that lacked intimacy and depth, a lot of physical attraction, but nothing that would last. Someone was a commitment fold. Now, they love being around you. They love being in you, <laughs> collective. Hmm? That's what I heard. But that's it. And that's not enough, right? Now, this is you blocking someone and moving forward with your life. Yeah. Someone wants to come towards you, but they feel stuck. They feel stuck. And for some of you, I feel like they're being held back, like no access from the divine. King of Wands, yeah, this person's being held back from you. Spirit's like, no, stay away from the collective. This person, yeah, they stabbed you in your back so many fucking times. Had you at rock bottom. You're not letting anybody do that anymore because I feel like something's happening in divine timing here. Mm -hmm. You waited a long time for something collected. I feel like it's your time. That's what you waited for. You waited for your chance, your opportunity. I'm hearing, um, what is it? Eminem, you got to lose yourself in the moment you own it. You better never let it go. It's like, yo, what are you waiting for? This is your chance, your opportunity to do something different, to create something better, to create something bigger. Who gives a shit if this person misses you or not, right? Someone's ass has been judged. That's why they're arrested in spiritual jail. You think it's a joke. What did this person do? Some of you, there's a masculine in this collective. You had someone doing uh, black magic on you, like legit. And I mean... This was more than spelling, okay? This was incant incantations at cemeteries and shit. Spirit, block that. Okay, you can hear that this person is en end up being sick or catch some kind of STD or something. Mm -hmm. Or got stabbed, like literally stabbed in their back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person wants you to forgive them, but oh my God, you got temperance, judgment, and justice. Whoo cha. This is what happens when you fuck around with a chosen one. Oh, man. And you know what? I still feel compassion for this person because they're getting really slapped up by the universe really bad. Like This, this is not good. This is not good. This is why this person's in spiritual jail. They tried to do some... For some of you, this person wanted to um, wreak havoc in your relationships they could have put a spell on you about making sure that you're, it's either you're always in the past or stuck in the past in relationships 
or you're in a loop in relationships. So you're, if there's no growth, there's no forward movement, chaos and conflict in your relationship all the time or block you from your person or block you from anybody who could would be a, a viable option for you. Yeah, that's what someone was trying to do. Spirit said, are you crazy? What the hell? Okay, what in heaven's name? Four of wands in reverse, yeah. Hmm. This per is exactly what this person wanted for you, collective, is exactly what's happening to them. They say, when you dig a grave for someone, dig two and dig yours first. And that's what this person fucking did without even realizing it. Mm -hmm. This person's not allowed around you, yeah. Not allowed. Access denied. Okay, no stability in their household, no security, no abundance, no long-term growth, okay? A lot of debt, someone could file for bankruptcy, someone's ass could have got robbed. Someone could have got robbed at work or got um, like some kind of scam, online scam, mm-hmm. But nothing, this is, this is like a, a legacy, a bloodline that's been cursed, mm-hmm. Wow, oh boy, that's been cursed. Because someone was thinking with the wrong head and someone kept playing games with you. Mm -hmm. And just bringing disaster and ruin and, and shame and embarrassment. Mm -hmm. And failure. Because someone couldn't keep it in their pants or just didn't have any self-control. And they were always playing games. This is the energy of somebody who they come in all hot and heavy. They want something. They make you lead you to believe that something is going to pop off this time and it's going to be proper. And then they're gone again. And this person has been doing this for a few lifetimes. And in this one, because you were in agreement and you're co-creating with the universe collective, Spirit said, okay, drop that gavel. Contract change up. You've got to go. Okay. This really is the trash took itself out. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. Because you finally made a decision. Mm -hmm. I love though that you're, if you're, it's like you're in an energy of let go, let God. No hard feelings. I learned what I needed to learn. This is not for me. Mm -hmm. Bye, boy. Bye, Felicia. Right? Like, Pour it out their cup. You're done. You're finally done. You're finally pouring into yourself. All that love and time and energy you're putting into someone thinking that something's going to work. You decided to just make things work with yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you realize you're not going to get any emotional fulfillment with someone. Not in a relationship. Not in a family dynamic. It just was not happening. For some of you who were with someone for all 10 years. Nothing. Couldn't fill a juice box, much less a cup. No emotional fulfillment. Look at this. This person was a poor communicator and they're very immature. They want to apologize, but at the same time, they're still coming in like a page. So this is still like it's a joke. <laughs> they're going to try to come towards you all happy and happy, right? Like they didn't stab you in your back 10 times and leave you for dead. Like they didn't sleep with a, a close family member or a friend or like, like they didn't steal your money or leave you to be unstable. Some of you, this person could have left you with no money. Someone stole like the rent money or the mortgage money and cut the scene. Yeah. Could have got evicted. They could have left you with an eviction notice or figure, try to figure out how the, in the world you're going to find first and last or pay the mortgage. And they want to come in like with this apology that ain't shit because they're watching you, but they're still going to come in very immature and they apology is just not going to cut it for what they did. No, it's really not. I, and I can't make this up. An apology is not cutting it with this queen of swords. Mm -mm. Not for the rest of this lifetime. That's a wrap. You see something very clearly with somebody. And that's why, <laughs> funny, funny spread. This is why earlier in the reading collective, you got this person is hating on your spirituality because they can't fool you, okay? The queen of swords is highly intuitive, okay? Hmm. 
That's why you don't like that. You, some, I'm speaking to a tarot reader or you're a medium, but you're a channeler. Like, you don't have to have a YouTube channel, but you're a psychic. You're a natural born psychic. You're a natural born witch. Okay? Magic runs in your blood. You see exactly what this person's doing. You see what they're going to do a mile away. You already know what they're going to do before you, they do it. With this high priestess energy, a lot of you, especially if you're if you're going to be with a reader or date a reader, like, make sure that you're proper, okay? Because they'll just pull cards on you. <laughs> That's it. Like, they even, they'll know shit about you. You don't even know about yourself yet. So just make sure you're coming with good intentions and a pure heart. That's all. You don't have to be worried about anything. But someone sees, collective, you see this person clearly and you're not into no love-love argument with them, okay? This is looking at the facts, using exercising head over heart. You're very intelligent. And the very fact that this person comes in as a page is an actual insult to your intelligence. It's like, yo, are you not seeing what you did? Do you not recognize? And I feel like this person, they do lack depth. Um, even understanding the, the depth of, of what they've done. Or the pain or the hurt that they cause, they really don't get it. Hmm. Right? You're working hard. Yeah, you're focused on you. This person's gonna try to they're gonna try to get you to stay. But you're emo you're so emotionally withdrawn from them like that, it's not gonna happen. You're so focused on yourself. That's good. Because you're back on your throne. Someone could have broke your heart and fixed your eyesight. Yeah. Because you see what you're supposed to be doing now. And it's not them. So they can miss you. If you, see, if you see this, I just need to show you this. You see the page of cups? Can you see this? The page of cups and the queen of swords. She's not even looking at him. She has her sword up. She's looking over the lay of the land like she's in the clouds right now. Right? Hmm. She looks like she's directing something, like she's busy. You're busy. So this person coming in, if they were gonna even try to come in with an apology, it had to be some, it had to be something big, a big gesture, because they stabbed you in your back over and over again. And they're coming in all kitty, like, no. You know, I want to say you even like look down on this person, not like you're better than them, but more of like you're so childish. Like I was putting up with this for so long. You're not even ready for someone like me. That's the energy I'm getting. You're so emotionally withdrawn from this person. Like you don't have any feelings for them. What this person did, they never realized every time they stabbed you in your back, you just, you kind of lose off of them a little bit more. <laughs> you know, you just, you didn't care as much as you used to. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel the same anymore. Like slowly eroding the stability and the love in the, in the relationship because they just kept fucking around. Hmm. Yeah. You've isolated yourself from this person. You're doing your healing. A lot of you, you had to stay away from this person just for peace of mind. Because they like to play mind games. That's their specialty. But they, what they didn't realize is how fucking sharp you are. You're the queen of swords. Um, while they're playing mind games, you're in the realm of intelligence and insight and enlightenment. Like... Please, you already done peep game. That's why you're not focused on them. <laughs> because they're wasting their own time. They will not be wasting yours. Mm -hmm. You're not even looking at them. This is someone who's going to try to get your attention. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be very childish. It could be even petty. Mm -hmm. Like someone could try to start an argument with you. And then apologize and want to like, oh, let's go out for drinks and talk and, and then try to take it there. You know, like, nah, man, this is over. You're gone. You're out. You don't want anything to do with this person. You've laid something to rest. Yeah. And you're doing your healing. Yeah. This person feels really lonely, though. Mm -hmm. They miss you. They really do miss you. But they just come up so childish. The very immature energy, especially emotionally and even um, mentally, but it's it's more of a um, their level of judgment, you know, their their perception. It's not it doesn't have much depth to it. Not yet. 
This person feels very lonely without you. They don't like that you're not speaking to them. They don't like that they don't have any contact with you or there's a distance between you. Especially emotionally, the, the connection, they feel it. They feel the coldness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They know they missed an opportunity with you. And they know that they are experiencing bad karma. There's a lot of decrease going on in this person's life right now. Mm -hmm. Because they've been judged. Yes, look at this. They're feeling insecure. They don't trust people. They have options, but they don't trust them. A lot of you too, this person... Uh, they could be thinking in, in hermit mode right now, thinking that they fully fucking threw away a diamond for a rock. Mm -hmm. They went off to go be with some fake empress, okay? A karmic feminine and, and energy doesn't have to be feminine, but, and they never got anything, okay? This person didn't have anything to offer them. It's just two people who don't have anything to offer each other. And that's what this person's thinking about now. How they lost, they could have lost money. This person took money from them because someone was robbed. Someone was taken for a ride. Now they're feeling stupid because they threw away a whole family and someone at one point in time had unconditional love. Mm -hmm. You know how challenging it is? Do you know how special you have to be to give unconditional love to someone who loves you with conditions? Hmm. A special energy, wheel of fortune. Yeah, this was destined to happen. Because someone needed to learn a lesson. You, this is lessons for both of you. Because I feel the change in your energy collective. Something happened. It's like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. It was that last sword. Like, this is how strong you are, right? <laughs> Ten swords. So at the it was the, the tenth sword that you were like, you know what? This is it, man. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And, and you died. This person killed you. They killed the old you. Yeah. Because you took that sword out of your back. Yeah, you took that sword out of your back with the Queen of Swords. And you started cutting motherfuckers off and cutting them out of your life. The same sword that they used to cut you is the same sword that you used to cut them out of your life. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is what was supposed to happen because you were supposed to learn this. Mm -hmm. This energy is also supposed to learn that they can't play games with big people. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. Yeah. It's just like, know what you're asking for. Be prepared. If you say you want to be in a real relationship or you want to have a family, then you have to come ready for those things. You can't play up, play up with, with kings and queens and emperors and empresses. Pages should play with pages. Mm-hmm. You come to a big man and a big woman with these stupid little mind games and childish, like, half-ass apologies. They don't really mean it. They know deep down inside they're going to go back and do it again, but you're going to take them back because you love them. And it's... No! It's like, is something happening here or not? You're on the top of the wheel here, Collective. Okay. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you want to be single now. At least right now. Someone is going to get a bad um, verdict. In, if you're going to court with this person, it's going to go in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. It's not going to go in their favor. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing someone's going to be found guilty in a court of law. Mm -hmm. All right. Someone's going to get some kind of judgment or verdict that's just going to make their heart drop into their stomach. Yeah. Someone may even pee their self. I don't know what. I don't know, but. Hmm. Someone's been doing a lot of drinking because they're very worried. Mm -hmm. They're very worried about some court situation. Someone feels really stupid as well because they, it's like they thought they were going to get something with somebody else and ended up losing everything. Yeah. Collective, you're over this though. Okay, you've done your grieving, you've done your mourning. 
you're single and you're maybe starting online dating or talk thinking about just is it speed dating or just going out there and meeting people it's like you're coming to this conclusion that you can't be sad forever mm -hmm. but you're using i like that you are using your heart and your head now moving it forward in this chapter of your life it's not like you see someone and, and you just fall in love with them or it's love at first sight. You really vetting people. <laughs> yeah, you are. Because you have high standards and you know what you want. Because you went through so much of what you don't want. A lot of you, you're not crying over spilt milk anymore. Something's done. Okay, on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Someone feels like a whole fool. Because for some of you, this person, this is what they didn't get. Every time they stabbed you in your back, did some foolishness, it just eroded the love that you had for them. So you got over, this time around, you got over this whole situation a lot faster than they thought you would. That's why this person felt like they can come in with this little dibby dibby cup of, oh, I'm sorry, blah, I'm like, can we go for a drink and talk and try to sleep with you and put, play mind games again with you and all type of fool. No, 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 no. Okay, while they're still on the same shit, you already, you're on something else. Okay, and they feel like a fool because they see it. They see that nothing's working. You really did pour out their cup. You really are over them. You really have moved on. Yeah. This person feels like a fool for juggling you. They feel like a fool now because they could be juggling, juggling their finances, juggling their life. They want to come back. But this is... This is ulterior motive, right? You're doing great. You're solid. Things are hard for them now. So and it didn't work out wherever they went or whoever they went to. So they want to come back. They planted seeds and they didn't grow. So let me come back to collective and see if they'll take me back. But no. Okay. Now this person wants to fight, fight for you. They may even try to fight you for you. <laughs> collective. Right? But... For some of you, being in a relationship with this person was very abusive. Verbally, emotionally, physically. They were abusive. A lot of competition. You're over that. You don't want any of that. Yeah, right. It took you a long time to heal. And you are healed now. So why would you go back to that? You know that this person doesn't have anything to offer you. They're just coming with the same brand of drama. You see all of this. Yeah. A lot of you know that this person as well is like, they want you to drop your defenses. Hmm. But it's like the more they want you to drop your defenses, the more you have them up. You do not trust this person. And they earned that from you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. You know this person is just going to try to keep you in a cycle that you closed out. They do. They want you to stay. They want you to go through the merry-go-round again with them. But collective, you're not doing it. Not this time. Good for you. You really are done. Good for you because you've healed. No more trauma bonding for you. Look at this. Is this person, this is still, this is the same fucking thing. The same thing. The emperor in reverse. Look at this. The emperor in reverse and the ace of, no, sorry, page of wands. What the fuck is this about? The same thing that they promised that they wouldn't do again. And they've changed and they learned their lesson and they've seen the light and they've come to Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're Buddhist, Islam. Like they're everything now. But no. Because underneath the surface, they're going to still try to control you, still be manipulative, still play mind games, still cheat. Right? Still being very immature, very careless and irresponsible with their temple and their wand. No, it would just be a, a repeat of the same thing. Competition, right? 
And this is, and you want to know why? Because remember, earlier in the reading, their energy was this: the person that they cheated on you with or stepped out on you with was something to do when there was nothing to do. With this page of wands energy, this is someone who starts things and doesn't stop because they get distracted. They get another idea. Oh, I got to start this one. Oh, I, they don't finish things, right? They don't um, finish anything that they start. So. They could be in mid-motion of courting you and being so in love with you and then see someone else that catches their attention and they're attractive. And because they're in page, right, this is fuckboy, fuckgirl energy. They don't have any control over their organs or their body or their body parts, so they believe. So they have to do something about it. You're a whole adult. You respect yourself. You know your worth. You're taking care of your temple. You're honoring yourself. You're not just letting anybody sleep with you. You are sacred ground. It's not a match, not a match at all. And this is exactly the, the cycle that this person wants to bring you right back in and have you accepting this, accepting this bullshit. You're too, you're too grown, you're too mature for this. This is a controlling, it's like an energy of just, a kid that throws a tantrum when they don't get their way. And the way, it's their way or the highway. Mm -hmm. This is a, a man child or a woman child, like a grown ass adult that's way too old to be acting the way they're acting. It's like, if you want to be stuck doing nothing, go ahead. But collective, you're not doing that. Yeah. This person is still, I, I feel like someone may be confused or distorted their view of things but they're going to try to play mind games this is the master of mind games you're dealing with here mm -hmm. but it's there's some kind of confusion this person has got you twisted they think that you're insecure and unstable and codependent like them but you're not you see things clearly they don't that's on them yeah that's on them there's some things that this energy needs to sacrifice and they don't want to do it. They don't want to give up these immature, outdated, you're way too old to be acting like that ways. Yeah. You've healed. Mm -hmm. You've healed. You're taking care of yourself. Someone in this collective either drink water or you're drinking more water. What water? Water. Good for you. Okay, you are 100% a star seed here. Mm -hmm. I love this energy of optimism and just walking by faith and not by sight and, and doing what you need to do for yourself. This is what helps you to heal. Believing. Just that's some of you. That's all you had. You had hope. That's all. That's all you had left. After this Ten of Swords, someone had you at rock bottom on your face. And that's all you had. Hope that things were going to get better for yourself. And that's what got you through day by day. So now that you've healed, what? They think that they can come back with their stupid games again now? Mm -hmm. You've changed. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, they think yeah. you've seen this a mile away. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. You're not here for that. This person got caught. It's game over. It's been game over for them. Yes. You know what they did. For some of you, this person was lying to you. It's like when they were with you, they wanted to act like they were all for the relationship. But really, this person likes to party. They like to drink. They like to make... I mean, <laughs> what am I hearing? Commiser commiserate? What? I don't even know what that word is. But this is someone who likes to mix and mingle, okay? Have a good time. Hook up, random hookups. Go out for drinks with friends often. They got caught. The person that they said was just their friend they were sleeping with. It was their friends with benefits. You already know all of this, though. You don't care. Yeah. You block this person. You don't want to hear or see anything. You don't want to hear anything from them, and you don't want to see them. Yeah. Yeah, you have nothing to give them. Nothing, for some of you, you have nothing to say to this person. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just, it's um, it's just the level of communication. 
It's like, how do you get your point across to someone who doesn't understand, understand, overstand what you're saying? It is like talking to a child. Mm -hmm. They're just not going to get it. Because someone, they're really like, this is someone who is of age. This is a mature masculine or mature feminine. But there could have been some kind of learning disability or stunted. Because someone comes up very immature, but they're, they're of age. I don't know. I don't get, I don't know. But you're not giving it to this anymore. It's a waste of time. Yeah. This person wants to come in. They want to rush in and tell you something now. Yeah. They want to tell you what you already know. Oh. <laughs> it's like after the fact they want to come clean because their conscience was eating them alive. Yes. But... They do what they always do. They sabotage themselves. They shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah. And make things a lot harder than they need to be. All this person had to do was tell you the truth and be honest with you. I feel like you would have had more respect for them. But instead they tried to play games. They lied. Yes. And you do not no longer view this person as someone who's suitable for you. You view this person as a lesson, lesson learned. Mm -hmm. But it's always been imbalanced in this relationship with this person. This dynamic, you are always doing too much. And, and you would naturally because mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, materially for some of you, you were the adult. <laughs> You were the one who had the, were further along in your growth. Yeah. So you're holding back. Yes. Now they want to work with you. They want to work on things. They're going to rush in to tell you that they want to work on things and they're sorry. Now, this is someone who's been holding back for a while. <sighs> I, I feel the energy of someone who can't hold back anymore, collective. If you haven't heard from this person in a while, they want to come now. Yeah. Wow. They see you as Queen of Wands energy. You're beautiful. You're intelligent. You don't take bullshit, right? You don't put up with nonsense. You have a great sense of humor. You're sexy. I'm hearing vivacious, okay? My masculine's in here. You look good, good. You take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. You recognize that you are the prize, and you treat yourself that way now. And you went through a lot to learn how to treat yourself this way and to feel this way about yourself. Good for you. And it shows Mm -hmm. Wow. This person is realizing that hmm. this person, there's two people that want to come towards you. There is a king of swords here and a king of pentacles. So what is this? You have an air sign and a pentacle, um, uh, uh, earth sign that just showed up because there is a feminine energy here that has choice between two two gentlemen here mm -hmm. and you're holding back because you don't know who to work with yeah now this is someone from your past and someone that you have a past life with mm -hmm. but they don't they've been holding back from you but they're coming towards you. Yeah, they are. They're coming towards you. They see that you have options. I feel like these two are in competition with, with each other now over you. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't want something to change or close out. Someone is obsessed with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. They see you as stable, stability, security. They want a home. They could have it with you. 
But these, these energies, they're bad investments. And you know this already. Mm -hmm. You've dealt with these two before. Mm -hmm. And you're not doing it anymore. They both made you ha unhappy, depressed, brought confusion into your life. Yeah. And it was just the same shit, different day with them. Whoever I'm speaking to, you know you dodged a whole bullet, okay? Mm, like you're in the matrix from these, these energies, yeah? You know that someone is weak. You could view someone as a pussy, okay? Because they're easily seduced. You may view them as lacking confidence in themselves, but someone lacks confidence in themselves. Mm -hmm. Now this Knight of Wands here is worried. Hmm. That you've dropped them and you're done with them for good. They know they were a burden on you. They also see that you don't have any regrets. No. You're working on getting yourself out of the cold. Not even out of the cold. You're working on your stability and your security. You don't have fucking time to be upset about if someone rejected you or not anymore. You got things to do. Yes. This person wants to come towards you. They want to heal this 100%. They're hoping. They want to give you an offer. Someone may come and give you an invite. This is someone who wants to come out of their head from feeling trapped. Uh, or they're starting to view something from a different perspective. Someone sees you as like the empress. Mm -hmm. Very loving, very caring, supportive, intuitive, nurturing. But this person is manipulative. Yes, they are. They're trying to get you to not move forward, not move on, keep you stuck with them. Mm -hmm. This person is taking, it's, it's just going back and forth. So this King of Pentacles is going to take a, a long time to come towards you. But they view you as their perfect match. This is somebody who they have a lot of love for you. And they, but they don't show it. And they're very manipulative. And there is a king of swords here that is feeling trapped. And they want to drop something that seems like a burden to them. They want to come out of the cold with you. So these are two energies here that you've cut off. And you are, you're not taking no prisoners. No, you're not. And you're, a lot of you, you're not taking any alcoholics either. You're not dealing with that stuff anymore. People need to deal with their issues, do their healing before they come towards you because you're not here for the mess. No, you're not because you're an adult. <laughs> wow, collective. That's what I have for you. <laughs> if any of this resonates, smash that like button. I can't even talk. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.